One of the exciting events for Chinese New Year is the Dragon Dance. It's a special event where a group of dancers control a long dragon using poles that are positioned equally along its body. The head of the dragon usually follows a golden ball, which sometimes represent a pearl or the sun that the dragon chases. One of the most important parts of a dragon dance is the music that it moves along to. In most dragon dances in China, there will be a group of musicians playing several kinds of percussion instruments. A percussion instrument is an instrument that is struck, such as a drum, xylophone, or tambourine. In China, a common percussion ensemble is the lu guo. There are many different instruments you might find in a Chinese lu guo. Sometimes there are only just drums, from a small drum to a really big drum. In China, these drums are called gu, which literally translates to drum. You also usually find a Chinese symbol, or bo, and sounds like this. Then you have temple blocks, which are called ban. Temple blocks are blocks that are usually made of wood that you strike with a mallet. There are usually several of them arranged in a row, and the larger ones make lower sounds, and the smaller ones make higher sounds. Next, there are bells, or bian zhong. These are also similar to western chime bells, which are struck with a hammer or a mallet, and they sound like this. The gong. These are used in many countries around the world, but originally came from China, Burma, and Indonesia. They are usually large, circular, and played with a large mallet, and sound like this. Now, let's go back to the dragon dance. When there's a dragon dance being performed, there is usually some form of lu guo performing. These groups could have only one kind of drum, or all the instruments we just talked about. Here's what we will do. I would like you to find an instrument in your house that looks like one of these four instruments. It could be a drum, temple block, cymbal, or bells. If it's something that isn't yours or your, something that your family shares, please make sure you get an adult's permission to use it. Once you have found your instrument, please play along to the video that is coming up after this. It will have two of the patterns that we have come up with as a class. Please play the rhythm of the instrument you chose. If you chose something that looks like a drum, then play the drum part. If it's temple blocks, then play the temple block part. If it's cymbals, play the cymbal part. Or if it's bells, play the bell part. Please practice the rhythms before you record your video. Here's what I did. I found this coffee mug and grabbed a pencil and realized it kind of sounds like bells. I'm gonna choose the bell part that's written here. Ta, ta di ta. I'll do that again. Ta, ta di ta. Then I'll play the second pattern. Ta, ta di ta di. Ta, ta di ta di. If you want, you can teach another part to someone else in your family, and they can play along with you. If you want an even greater challenge, you could try having four people play the rhythms that are on the video. I can't wait to see these dragon dance rhythms that you play. Thank you very much, and have fun!